Hello from Noodles and I. It is, I don't know, it's maybe about eight o'clock. I think it's not too dark, it's lovely. And it's beautifully chilly. Noodles and I are just having a little wander around because he's a very good puppy. Oh, did you get a fright? Did you get a fright? You did. So we were very fortunate. A lady, a lovely lady from the Ipswich Humane Society turned up today and she brought us all these training pads which was exceptionally kind of her. And I think Janine and I might travel when we go to auction with these, because they'll be very handy because they're disposable. And when you're in a car with a puppy, it's handy to have something that's disposable. And uh, that was very much appreciated. I'm gonna to have to find somewhere sensible to store them. Not 100% sure where. Is that sand? Is that a digging opportunity? He's such a lovely boy. You can hear all the little birds. It's just so lovely. Now, this here. So we've got plans for, not this tree and birdhouse, but we've got plans for in the goat paddock. Because obviously we're hoping to move the goats further down the hill. Um, so my husband actually does some work and doesn't spend his time watching the goats trying to escape. I get countless photos of, oh, they're nearly out. And I'm like, well, it is what it is. So obviously we had a bit of a problem with the fence. We had a bit of a problem with the fence before the tree came down, but the tree really has not actually um, done us any favours. If you can see further up the hill here, it's all, uh, it's all in a real mess. So... This paddock's going to have to be rejuvenated and we think it would be a lovely paddock for Harley when she eventually has her foal and they're all acclimated. We can um, pop them in here. So the really exciting thing that um, we've got for this paddock is we actually have a run-in shed that's for mini donkeys and a lovely lady up in Kenny Bunkport in Maine has donated it to us. Our only challenge is at the moment, it's not fitting in our trailer because we obviously have the tiny trailer and not the big trailer. So um, we're trying to call in favors and ask people if we can borrow their bigger trailers. Please don't go on the pond, nudes. Noodles! He's like wagging his tail. He's like, I know what's down here. Um, he is, so this will be coming. We'll have to obviously rejuvenate the fencing, particularly up here, because we want to keep Harley and her foal safe. And I think what we'll probably need to do is, as we've known that this gate's a bit stiff and doesn't play, play the game very nicely, we'll probably bring it in through here and, uh, recreate some sort of fencing and it will mean that we can get rid of this charming bucket of oh it's stuck in concrete and <laughs> we can't get out that is just a great big mosquito factory goldie's farm likes to grow their own mosquitoes always good so that's the plans for this paddock here and it's really quite exciting so instead of watching the naughty goats nick will now be watching the donkeys which I don't think is conducive to getting a lot of work out of them, but hey, it is what it is. So this will be a really nice paddock. It's got a bit of a nice slope on it, and that's really good because it keeps them fit, it keeps them moving round about, and it's actually a really good big size for Harley and for a small, small, teeny tiny donkey. And then, if you look down here, I'm going to tri try and not trip over all the rocks at next gathering oh goodness this paddock here opens into this bigger paddock through this little space here this is where the goats keep disappearing off to and this is really quite a big space and it goes all the way down to the trees on the right hand side there's two trees one that's sort of like leaning slightly to the left um, so this is a really nice big paddock it'll give them lots of space lots of things to do and lots of visibility for people you know who want to come and visit with them and keep them nice and nice and happy 
So that's exciting. But this, of course, is reliant upon us getting the fencing in for the goat paddock. Come on, Nudes. Oh, he's so lovely. He's such a good boy. Such a good boy. Come on, my darling. Yeah, such a good boy with the biggest stick. Yes, you bring that with you. That'll be very welcome in the cabin. And so we're dependent upon, in the whole process of things, getting this area down at the back of the tea tent all safe and enclosed for those blinking goats, honestly. I think it needs to be Fort Knox because they are terrible. Also on the radar at the moment, <laughs> my dog's crying. She's like, I'm down here, you've got that blinking puppy. My nudes is Donna and Randy very kindly refurbished the top of the male hut because it uh, it was in an absolute mess. And what we're planning to do now is redo the actual wood here and replace the bits that are missing from here just to weatherproof it further and get it up and operational. So there's plans for this and it's really just getting the time to do it because it's quite straightforward. And also this gazebo here, uh, we took down all the shooting the um, tarps that were on the side, they were um, pretty dirty. And one of the granite benches is in here. And we just need to do a few repairs. Like we've obviously had a bit of, I think this was the branch that came down that bounced off here, which was actually fortunate because it then bounced off my car. Um, so we've got a bit of repair needing done in here. Probably, I think I'll probably paint it and stain the uprights here just to give it a bit more longevity. And what would be really lovely is if we get this cleared here, is if we could get some shrubs put in so it's a bit less rustic, shall we say. It's just lots to do, lots to do, but it's exciting to do it. And, uh, and we've definitely got the enthusiasm to do it, haven't we, nudes? Noodles? He's such a sweet puppy. Are you the bestest boy? Yes, you are. Are you going to sit? Oh, you are, because you're the nicest boy. You're the nicest boy. Let's go for a wee wonder. So, Noodles, on, Noodles and I will say goodnight, because we're going to go for a little walk. And we'll see you all probably tomorrow. Night-night.